today I'm going to share some tips on how you can read more. Um, I was a late adopter of audiobooks and I have found that it's easier and a faster way to finish books when you're doing your chores or when you're about to go to sleep. You can set a timer on a device and you can listen until you fall asleep and it's pretty comforting the whole experience. Uh, the three resources that I usually use uh, other than of course my library card which I use to access the digital media and uh, uh, audiobooks are Libby and Hoopla and of course Audible. So uh, Libby allows you to borrow eight titles at a time. Uh, I think it's limitless like if you can finish those books you can borrow more uh, and hoopla allows a maximum limit of eight titles every month it used to be five but recently i've seen they've uh, increased it to eight i hope it's for good and not just for the shelter in place thing audible gives you credit each month uh, and it charges your card about 15 bucks and you can use the credits i think within 12 months to buy the credit uh, to buy books using the prepaid credits now uh, the difference between libby and hoopla is that on libby you sometimes the popular books have to be placed on hold that is you make a request and if it's not available they'll inform you when it's next available and the next the person who's reading it has finished it the trouble with most popular books is that you might have to wait from two weeks to 24 weeks before you can read it. I've seen it happen to the silent patient. So then what do you do when you want, really want to read a book and it's not available in any library or um, digital platform that you're borrowing from? You go to Audible and buy it. Um, I prefer to read books before I buy it. Like, I want to have books in my collection that I really enjoyed and I know I'm going to uh, reread some passages or uh, just enjoy browsing through it. Uh, there have been some bad choices too. While reading my book, I gave up while reading and I just couldn't get through it, even with a great narrator. Sometimes the story is not appealing to you so that's okay i think you should give up you should not force yourself to read something maybe it will come back to you later on you might enjoy but life is too short to waste on books that you don't enjoy so that's my tip to reading more and if you have any tips to share with me it i'll be happy to know thank you